All right. Welcome to day three of Advent of Code in Haskell. Um, yesterday, we were helping the elves with their rock, paper, scissor game. So the lore goes that they're, uh, they're on some expedition to the starfruit grove. Um, and we collected some star fruit. No, oh, no. First, we checked that they had enough calories for the expedition. Uh, then we helped them out with their um, uh, rock paper scissor tournament, or or we helped ourselves but for to decode the strategy guide. And now it's time for day three. Let's see what we got today. Also, um, the uh, video for day one is up. The video for day two will be up at like. 6.45 today. Um, so, check out the YouTube channel, right? If you want to catch up. Hi, you know, you want to watch the stream. But, uh, oh, hey. Hi, little Annie. She is my biggest fan. First subscriber, even, I think. Uh, we have more subscribers now. Someone, uh, last stream, they gave away a bunch of subscription edible monad a fellow haskell enjoyer uh, i also like this part right where they kind of slowly reveal the yeah so one problem with this is that in iceland we have 24 days right so christmas is on the 24th in the evening uh but here it's until day 25 which is in let's check out the stats i want to see huh see a lot of people do day one and day two uh People haven't done day three yet, but you can always see that like, it kind of oof, gets down. All right, let's do day three of Advent of Code. Mm. Okay, so rucksack reorganization. Uh, one elf has an important job of loading all the rucksacks with supplies for the jungle journey. It's like a backpack, right? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, that elf didn't quite follow the packaging packing instructions, so a few items needed to be rearranged. Each rucksack has two large compartments. All the items of that type uh, of a given type are meant to go into exactly one of the two compartments. The elf that did the packing failed to follow this rule exactly for one item per rucksack. Your elves have made a list of all the items currently in each rucksack. But they need your help in finding the errors. Every item that type, every item type is identified by a single lowercase or uppercase letter. That's A. a uh, okay. So different letters between different items, <clears throat> and then um, the list of items and characters in a single line. Given rucksack has the uh, same number of items in each of its two compartments. So the first half of each character represent items in the first compartment, and well, the second half of each character of the character represent items from the second compartment. Okay, means uh, okay. So we split the string in half, while the second compartment contains the items. Okay. Okay, so we're supposed to. Um... Ah, okay. So we split the items. Okay, and we 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 find the common ones. Uh, to help prioritize re item rearrangement, every item type can be converted in priority. Okay, so we just convert the letters. Can I do this in... Uh... Sorry, now I just want to think about the... Is there a function in... Let me go to GTI. Import data.char. Now we're going to use type tools. I implemented this... Uh... In, uh, in GC. Ah, digit to int. See? It's a useful feature. Now, digit to int of A. Oh. 10, B, 11. Ah. Oh, Ooh, this is not the. Oh, I want to. I think I want to do uh, from enum here. The other function. Yeah, okay, so it starts off, so like A is this, B is this, right? So it's like the ASCII character set. But it starts with the opposite. Um, 
Okay, so let me just write this uh, this function first, right? Priority uh, charter prio, right? So let's say module mainware char to prio is going to take a char and give us an in. Now we're going to import data dot char. Ah, no, maybe I don't even need that. Oh, it's in the preload. Yeah, I don't need that. Uh, ah, wait. What is this ord here? Ord a. Okay, it's just the same function as from enum. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't need it. Uh, chart to prio. So chart to prio. Let's see. Equals. Okay, so, um, so, so said is going to be 50, should be 52, right? So we say ord said, that's 90, right? And then it starts at 97. Okay, so if it's lowercase, we're just going to do minus, okay. Let's just do it like kind of a, like a bad way. There's some mathematical formula we could use here. Is lower. Okay, so is lower C. Is ah is lower C equals uh from enum C. Okay, so then we get the 97, and then we want to do uh 97 minus 95 95 otherwise otherwise it's going to be from let's say uh, where ivy is intel from enum C. so here we say from enum IV a IV minus and a five a otherwise it's IV minus uh, so a big a is 65 but it's supposed to be 27 so 60 I want to say 65 minus 27 oh, so yeah okay so 65 minus 38 is 27 yeah don't worry I got a math degree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they don't really teach you arithmetic and math degrees, actually. So we want to do uh, minus 38. Okay. We got the chart to prio. Um, function. And now we get the strings. This time I'm just going to... Yeah, I'll be, let's do it for the example. New file. Example. Okay. Paste it. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna convert them to priorities right away. Okay, so read input is gonna be a file path to um, the list of list of ints. A read input equals do f read file read file uh, I'm gonna have an F in here. Fn. Then I want you to do lines. So we want the lines. Okay, let's just do this uh, without uh, anything. And then I want to do uh, f map. Uh, ah, I want to do lines, and then I want to do map chart. Map map chart to prio. Uh, like this uh, and now it doesn't like it because of this okay where and now we just uh, inline this function this definition ah see it's all about clean code main io okay main equals uh, read input Example. Example. 
exemplar. Now, there's something wrong here. Um, ah, FN is no longer there. Ooh, okay. I think we need to do now like this. What is? Uh, what is the error here? Ah, expected. Left map, left map, left map. map lines expected mm -hmm. so now read file yeah okay Ah, they turned off the type to hold plugin. That's sad. Uh, jar tool. So you should be able to. Ah! We got a new follower. Ah, Martin. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna do this uh, boring way. I don't care. Do F read file. Read file. Actually, I'm gonna go into the settings. I cannot believe that they, uh, uh, they turned off my plugin. Anyway, uh, I think they, they turned it on again. We changed it. It's super fast now. Uh, hey, that's cool. Yeah, so this is also the bullshit, right? And they turned off the type holes integrated into the into GHC, even though it's super fast, and now it just doesn't work, right? Which is now let me let's see here, right? So if I do here, uh, equals uh, undefined. Okay, so if I do here, f type bool to bool, f equals underscore. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't actually give me anything here, right? Even the error message does say there's a bunch of refinement hole fits, right? But my uh, code completion action doesn't work. Which is quite sad. Um, I should report this somewhere, maybe. I don't know. A... Can I go back into this setting? Let me... Because they, they started uh, using this uh, other thing, and like the wingman thing. And the wingman guy, he just hates type tools because in the beginning, it's true, they were slow. But now they're super fast. Uh, okay, anyway, I think this works in the... This works in the... Uh, latest version of HLS, so I don't, don't want to see how that works. But it's quite annoying, right? Because you can just... You, should, you usually be able to just do control period and then it would just work. 
Okay, uh, now we have the lines, return, map, map, chart, map uh, to the lines, map to the characters, chart to prio. What is this, right? I don't. I used to be able to do this. Can we do this in day two? Ah, oh, we did it. Okay. Lines. Ah. Okay. This is why it's been going wrong all this time. Okay, now my undo buffer is fucked. Okay. Yeah. We had to get uh, to start over. Module main where? Okay. Import this. Okay, now this one should be read input uh, file path to IO. Just a list of bits. This is what it was. Oh. I wrote IO. IO. Oh my god, I guess that's what happened, right? I like pressed tab and then it auto completed and removed it. Okay, um. So, uh, yeah, no, Ivy is no longer there. Where? Now it works, right? Okay, and now we're gonna do GCO day three day three dot HS. Ah. And then we're gonna run it. And I put the example file in the wrong directory. Here, all right. Okay, now we have all the prioritizations. Okay, so task one. Uh, task one. So we're gonna take a list of ints and we're gonna return the prioritization. In. Uh, task one equals uh, exits equals. So now we're gonna do uh, uh, I think it's called GG. I think it's called split at doc doc split at. Okay, so we split it at uh, the length divided by two, right? And split at two, uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. So let's say where L equals length axis. Now we do uh, F, F A uh, comp one compartment one compartment two equals split at L div two divided by two of axis. And now we want to find a. The only item that appears in both compartments. Mm, 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 mm. But they have copies of the items, right? Uh, this is overkill. Uh, I'm, we're not gonna use sets, right? Let's just see data dot list. Um. Because mm, I think we can use like some of the set functions over this. <sighs> set. Right. Ah, intersect. 
So then we take the uh, intersect of the list and only one of them should be there. So we're going to say a uh, head intersect comp one comp two. This is from data dot list. Import data dot. I mean, this is not fast. We should really like convert it to a set and then to the intersect. But uh, we're doing it once. Right? So if, if task two is like, oh, I'll do it a million times, then we can do it. Right? But uh, that would be premature optimization, right? Uh, so let's say map and no map. Okay, now we let's see what this gives us. 1738.42. Ah, 1638.42. Uh, then it says 20. Okay, so we're just off by one with if it's lower. Yeah, makes sense. So it was 96. Okay. So 1638, 42, 22, 2019, sum. And the sum of that is 157. All right. Now we got it. Let's do our input here. Input. All right. Day three, input. Uh, we do this, and that's it. Uh... Ah, seven five five three. Let's see if that's correct. Ah, we did task one. Woo woo. Now let's see how long it takes to take test. Okay, actually, Phoenix and Red Lens come up with a different issue. For safety, the elves divide into groups of three. Each of the first year batches in the group. Uh, that is, for groups batch item type B, then all three elves will have item type B somewhere in the rucksack. And at most two elves will have to be carrying the other item type. Ah, oh, okay. Bat is the only item type carried by all three elves. That is, if a group's badge is item type B, then all three elves will have item type B somewhere in the rucksack, and most two of the elves will be carrying any other item type. So all three elves will have type B, uh, and most two of the elves will be carrying. Uh. It's by finding the one item type that is common between all three elves in each group. Every set of three lines in your list comes from a single group, but each group has three different badge items. I don't get like all three elves will have item type B somewhere in the work sack, and at most two of the elves will be carrying any other item type. Okay. Uh, first group's rucksack are the first three, first three lines. Second group's rucksack are the first three lines. Okay, so I don't get this carried by other item types, but I, I think we can just ignore that. Uh, so task two. Uh, so first we're going to define the chunks function, right? Chunks of chunks takes an int and a list of a's and returns a list of list of a's. Now chunks and equals. And so what we do here is we do an x's. Okay, equals. So case a length x's me equals. If it's less than or equals to n, then we just return x's. Otherwise, 
let uh, s uh, r equals split at n axis and then we return in a s chunks and r so what this is going to do is going to split up the things into uh, three right so read input example example print chunks three and yeah to Ah, oh, okay, this is supposed to be a list. List. Ah, okay, chunks zero equals, okay, yeah. Just wanna cover that case. Okay, so now we've got a, two lists of threes, okay? So, task two. Task two is gonna be, first of all, Gonna be a list list of ints to uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna I mean it's gonna return the sum in the end. Task two, okay. So uh where threes equal can't do it this threes equal uh, chunks three uh yeah, okay so here we got the uh, inputs okay and then we're gonna do uh, sets oh no we're gonna do use sets actually import data dot set as set qualified import data dot set set we don't actually need that but yeah okay so we don't do um, sets so we're gonna map a set dot from list to the threes so now we have a list of sets okay then a intersects equals uh, ah so we don't do map map okay, exactly so, so okay. So, so first of all, uh, this is just gonna be undefined, but because you want to type check the rest, okay? Uh, let's do this. So threes, threes equals list of list of list of ints. So this is gonna be because we're chunking it up sets is going to be a list of uh, list of sets Hints. now uh, inters equals map so this is going to be a list of sets and inters is going to be map set dot intersect Uh, can I do intersection here? Uh, set dot intersection. Uh, I think we have to do full. How one? Map up of the sets. Yeah. Okay, now these should all be containing one element. Uh,. So we're gonna say Google. We're gonna say data dot set. Data dot set. Uh, so we're gonna take like the minimal element. Let's just use. Uh, So we can actually do a um, yeah man, minimum maximum it doesn't matter. Uh, so we're gonna do uh, some map minimum 
pointers. Print task two. Ah, oh, so we get 70 for the first one. Now let's see what is this for the input. Two seven five eight. Let's check if it's correct. All right, we completed day three in thirty minutes. Not bad. Not bad at all. I like the you know just to, it's quite simple, right? We just do 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 do. So uh, we use set here. We probably it would be probably nice today uh, to do uh, something like this, right? Since we're already importing set, right? Just to, uh, yeah, keep it smooth. All right. Uh, yeah, super short today. Again, um, I like these. So this is just a bunch of set intersection and Let's go back to the lore. What do we do? Um, yeah, we held them with our rugs hex. That's great. All right, kids. Uh, people. Whatever you prefer to call yourselves. There's a short stream today. Um, we'll be doing longer streams. You know, once the difficulty kicks up. But, you know. It's Saturday. Happy weekend. Enjoy your December. And uh, you see you tomorrow. Same time. 2 o'clock. We do a quick session. And that's it. Alright. Bye-bye.